Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bozorg, and in this video, I want to talk about Abacus Tutorial 1C, Part Module from Beginning to Advance. How to ask your video related questions. Don't hesitate to ask any questions you might have about the explanations presented in this video using the comments below. We try to answer all questions regarding the video details in the comments below. This is the table of content. I will talk about how to convert a solid part to a shell part, how to remove a face of a shell part, how can we add a face to a shell part, how to use pattern tools in a sketch and part modules to define repetitive objects like holes, how can we use extrude tools, how can we modify any dimension of a part, how to create a part from a deformed shape in the result file. I want to talk about how to convert a solid part to a shell part. I create a part named hexahedron that is 3D deformable, solid, and I will use extrusion technique to draw this part. And this is the sketch of the part, and the extrusion depth is 1. This is the final part, and this is its cross section. And when I convert it to the shell, its cross section will be like this. I go to Abacus to do this procedure. I click on create part. It is 3D, deformable, solid, extrusion technique will be used and the approximate size is 5. I draw the sketch. I use the activate deactivate view cut and as you can see this is the cross section of the solid part. Now I use create shell from solid. I select the part and I click on done and it is converted to shell. I use the Activate deactivate view cut another time, and this is the cross section of the shell part. I go back to the slides. In the part module, there is a toolbox named Geometry Edit, and there are a lot of useful tools in this toolbox. I set the category to face and I select the remove tool. Then I select a face of the shell part and then I remove it. I go to Abacus to do this procedure. I click on geometry edit. I select face, I select remove and I select the face and I click on done. As you can see, this face is removed. I go back to the slides. The other useful tool of this toolbox is Cover Edges tool. By using this tool, we can create enclosed shells. Here, I select all of these edges and a face will be created and added to the main part. And as you can see, it is enclosed. And this face is merged to the other faces. 
I go to Abacus to do this procedure. I click on cover edges. I select the edges. And as you can see, the face is created. Now I want to talk about how to use pattern tools in the sketch and part modules to define repetitive objects like holes. I create a part named plate that is 3D, deformable, solid. I use extrusion technique to create it and this is its sketch and the extrusion depth is 0.1. After creating the part, I create a hole on it and this is its sketch and then I use linear pattern tool to create five other holes from the sketch of this hole and finally we have six holes. I go to Abacus to do this procedure. I click on create part. Now I click on create cut extrude. I select this face and I select this edge. And I use create circle center and perimeter to define the sketch of the hole. I use the construction line to change the position of this point. This point must be located in one of the quarters because if it is not located in one of the quarters, it will create some issues in meshing and partitioning of the part. So I change the position of this point and I uh, transfer it to here. I use coincident tool and uh, it is in this quarter. Now I use linear pattern tool. I select this entity. I set the spacing and it must be changed. It is ready. Now we have six holes. I go back to the slides. Now I want to talk about how can we use extrude tools. First, I create a cylinder that its radius is 0.5 and its depth is 0.5. Then I add another cylinder to the first cylinder. This is the first cylinder and this is the added cylinder. And the final part is like this. The radius of the second cylinder is 0.25 and its depth is 0.5. I go to Abacus to do this procedure. I click on create part, 3D deformable solid extrusion. Now I use 
create solid extrude to add the second cylinder to the first cylinder. This is the final part that is integrated. I go back to the slides. Now I want to modify the added cylinder and change its depth to 0.1. And I want to show you how we must do this. I go to Abacus to do this. I go to the model tree, cylinder, features, and I click on solid extrude 2 and I change the depth to 0.1 and I click on OK. And as you can see, its depth is changed. Now I want to change the radius of the first cylinder and I want to change its radius to 0.3 and this is the final part. I want to show you how we must do this. We use the model tree another time and I must work on the solid extrude one. I go to model tree, cylinder, features, solid extrude one and I click on section sketch and I use the edit dimension value. I select this dimension and I change it to 0.3 and I click on OK. I click on Escape to exit this tool and I click on Done. Here Abacus says the feature has not been regenerated. To regenerate the feature, select Feature Regenerate. I click on OK. I right click on the features and I click on Regenerate. And as you can see, the modification is applied. I go back to the slides. Finally, I want to talk about how to create a part from a deformed shape in the result file. In some projects, we need to use the deformed shape of a simulation in another one. There are several procedures to do this in the Abacus CAE. One of them is to use the ODB file of the previous analysis directly and import the deformed shape into the part module. The other procedure is to define predefined field from the load module and define initial state for the part. I go to Abacus to import the deformed shape from job 2. And first I must set the file filter to ODB and then select the ODB file from the location of the ODB file. I go to File, Import, Part. File filter, ODB, and I select Job 2.2. Here I select Billet 1 because I want to import its deformed shape and here I can change its name. And here I can select the step and frame of the ODB file. Assume that the simulation consists of three steps. Okay? I can select the tenth frame of step two. The simulation relating to this ODB file has only one step. And uh, I can select the frame and I select the final frame. And I click on OK. As you can see, this part is created that is billet. And it is orphan mesh. Orphan mesh means that this part does not have any geometry and it consists of nodes and elements. 
and it doesn't have any geometry and we cannot change its mesh and it has been already meshed in the following tutorials we will learn about the property module in this module i will explain the parts material and section assignment defining the material accurately is very important to obtain reasonable results especially in the complex simulations you can contact me by using telegram or whatsapp or you can send email to me we can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring on the AnyDesk, WhatsApp, and we can make a special tutorials to your order. We can conduct high-quality simulations for your thesis, exercises, and industrial projects. Finally, I want to suggest you several related videos of our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good time. Goodbye.